Today I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a project risk assessment using our risk assessment creator. We've already created you 72 risk assessment templates pre-filled that you can modify for your own means. The project risk assessment opens in Word and there's a ribbon at the top where you can add your own logo which I've already added for you. You put your project title in, project name I've put old school rewire but you can change that. We've got a built-in site address database that you click there and it adds, it links to an address you can choose, you can add your own contact. And then the project details are listed underneath with the project number, project name, client details, works location, start end dates, company carrying out the work etc. So much of this information is added to all the risk assessments which are displayed underneath which I'll come to. Then you get the project information sheets which I've filled in some for you but you can add your own details underneath. Method of work, completion of works, waste disposal, you don't have to include everything you can just delete things as you see fit. And then you get the cost requirements, you can add your own cost requirements. So you choose one from the list and add it in and you can add your own words underneath if you wish to. And again with the personal protective equipment you can choose your own from the drop down boxes. Emergency procedures, notes on asbestos and then the signature, you can add your own signature here the log of assessment review dates and the variation references you can complete and then we come to the risk matrix of likelihood versus severity so if, it, if you have a, a serious risk four and a highly likely very likely that's four times five is twenty it's unacceptable risk in red and then we come to each section so we've got our risk assessments are listed in category order this is cat hazardous areas and situations. And the first one we have is confined spaces. So they're all listed in one after the other and you can alter them here. You can alter the severity or the likelihood and just update it. And you'll notice the, the figure changes. 4 times 3 becomes 12. becomes an amber risk. So that's the initial risk area. That's before all your controls and plan methods are, are implemented and then after they're, com they're followed you get a revised risk. So it's where your likelihood reduces or the severity reduces. It shows you the revised risk there. You can alter anything on this, on this page as you wish. We've, we've included some example controls for you but you can delete them or add your own underneath. Persons at risk you can add again add people at risk, site employees, employees at risk, all people on site. So you can change them as you see fit. Persons responsible, again you can change those or you can add your own items or remove them. And then we go up to here, select project risk assessments. This gives you an overview of all the risk assessments in the package. So you select the category and then you can double click on the risk assessments you wish to include and they appear in the selected list and then you can when you've completed adding them you can select them and go to them or to quickly so you can review them very quickly within the package project acceptance is here so you choose you put your employee names in you can print that out and they can sign it and date it to show that they've read and understood all the risk assessments. Again, the customer acceptance form can be included and that can be that prints out and the customer can sign that and return it to you. If you wish to, you can add your own risk assessments and they and to do that you go to the end of each section and choose a blank and you can add your own blanks. Next we produce a PDF. To do that you click the print dialog screen 
choose a PDF printer from the pre printer list. If you've got Windows 10, you can choose Microsoft Print to PDF. If you've got an older version of Windows, you can download a, a free program called Primo PDF. Click OK. Say OK. Click Create PDF. Give it a file name. And it will create a PDF for you with your risk assessment. Notice how it includes the risk assessments you've selected in the print list. That can be emailed to the client. They can complete the employee's acceptance form, the customer acceptance form and return to you.